So it's come to my attention that you either click this video because you wanted to style your hair, you're hoping to style it one day because you don't have any, or you don't even have hair like mine at all, you just wanted to watch this video. But either way it goes, let's get started I guess. Style number one is going to be the typical half up, half down. I typically like to grab as much hair that passes, I guess, the little hairline, whatever the case may be. Yeah, tie that thing up. And you tie it twice, that one. And then boom, it's up top. Now what you can do, you can grab your little brush, brush out the sides. If you got a fresh cut or not, I don't got no fresh cut, so. Yeah, brush the hairline down, just like that. That's gonna be the first one, yeah. Half up, half down, how you like it? Pretty clean, pretty simple. That's number one. Oof. Let's take that down. Moving on. Number two is a variation of number one. You got two in the middle. It all depends on how your hair is parted though, because you can have two in the middle like this, but at the same time, depends how it's parted. My hair is like really weird, so like, even though it's parted down the middle, this part will go towards that side for whatever reason. But yeah, if your hair isn't like mine and it stays where it's supposed to stay at, you can have it like this, or you could always have one like on the side. Whichever you choose to have, the left side or the right side, completely up to you, but you know, it's your choice in life. Oh, let me tuck that bad boy in. Dang, y'all wasn't gonna tell me. You could always just have one on the side. I, I, I personally don't do this because you know my twist never just stay down. It always likes to lift at the roots. But if yours stays down, by all means go for it. And those are the, a couple of the variations of number one. So the next style that we're gonna go for is the typical, you know, two up top. I don't know the name for it, but if you know the name for it, comment that one, cause I don't know it. Tie down to the side. Hold on, we're not done yet. I don't have the exact same like rubber band thingy. So I'm gonna tie this into two just to start off with. Um, I think there's about the same amount of hair. Yeah, I know that's the middle part, not bad. Yeah, it's about the same amount of hair. Should I grab one more? By the ear. Yeah, okay. And boom. So then you could fluff that out if you want it to look a certain amount of, or a certain type of way. Um, you gotta have it fall to the side, you gotta fall forward. It, it, it all depends on what you're going for. But whatever you're going for, yeah, I'm sure. I hope I hope it works for you. Um, yeah, this is like the closest you could get to attempting a hairstyle when you don't have much of any hair at all. Cause this is what I used to try to do when I barely had any. So yeah, we don't do that one much anymore. Sometimes though, somebody cue the music, please. Hey yo, Ram, turn that up. And last but not least, we got the easiest of them all. You don't actually need a hair tie or anything else to do this one. 
You just need a hat or a beanie or something. All you gotta do, put the hair back if you got enough. Put that thing up top and boom. Certified. Hold up, hold up. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Ha! I used to think, like, in order to do this, like, what you had to do was literally just go like this and, like, push them to the side. And then I realized, like, how bad this looks. And it, it looks like you're trying to get the look, but you can't quite get the look. So, just flip them, and they all go back. And then, boom, you're good. I wouldn't put it all the way down on the forehead because then you look crazy. But you know you could lightly have it lifted. That way you can still see like the fade and stuff. But yeah, you pretty much saw it after that one. I'm hoping that this video helped you on your um, bald headed fantasies. But if so, you should give me a like or a comment or a subscribe or all of them, you know? I guess that's really much all there is for the video. So till next time, I guess. <laughs> This is that moment where you're supposed to like already like the video and then like exit out the video. And then you're supposed to like go watch some more of my videos as well. Go do that. <laughs>